Solve for x. Negative 2 times the quantity x minus 27 equals negative 142. So let's rewrite this problem as negative 2 times the quantity x minus 27 equals negative 142. Well, one way we can do this is we can actually divide each side by negative 2. Why did we do that? Because negative 2 over negative 2, that does reduce to 1 over 1. That can be 1, 1 over 1. So we'll be left with x minus 27 equals negative 142 divided by negative 2. Well, a negative times a negative is a positive, so we know our answer is going to be positive. 142, 142 142 divided by 2, that's going to be equal to 71. We could rewrite this as x minus 27 equals 71. Now we add 27 to each side. Minus 27 plus 27, well, this right here becomes 0. We designed it that way, so we're left with x plus 0 equals 71 plus 27. 71 plus 27, that's equal to 98. So x is equal to 98. Here's a second way we can solve this problem of negative 2 multiplied by the quantity x minus 27 equals negative 142. We can distribute negative 2 multiplied by x minus negative 2 times 27. Negative 2 times 27 equals negative 142. This right here is still negative 2x and we're going to subtract negative 2 times 27 negative 2 times 27 well that's equal to negative 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 54 which equals still negative 142 When we subtract a number, it's the same thing as adding its opposite. So subtracting negative 54 is the same thing as adding its opposite or adding positive 54. So now we have negative 2x plus 54 equals negative 142. So now we have negative 2x plus 54 equals negative 142. Now we'll subtract 54 from each side. And we'll have negative 2x equals negative 196. Right here, this positive 54, this plus 54, minus 54, that right there, um, this became 0. This, this equals 0. So now we have negative 2x equals negative 196. We're going to divide each side by negative 2. And in doing so, uh, we'll have a positive x we'll have a positive x and then negative 196 divided by negative 2 well that's a positive positive what 98 so two different ways that we can solve this problem to get to the answer of x equals 98